Adding a skin to Minecraft is one of the best ways that you can customize things without really having to do much of any complicated troubleshooting or anything like that. I've really never seen a skin not work in Minecraft, but if it doesn't, you can usually move on to another skin pretty easily, find something similar, and it will work. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and get a Minecraft skin. Now there's two main ways to get a skin. First is going to the second link in the description down below. Takes you here. And once you're here, you can search for tons of Minecraft skins. Not only is there this one, I think this kind of looks cool, like skeletons. You can also search for something up here at the top, like a knight, for example. And you will find tons of different options for knight style skins. This one's kind of catching my attention today. So then we can go ahead and once you've found your skin, click on download and it will download it right like so. You may need to keep or save the skin, but it really just depends. I'm very curious how this is going to work, by the way. It might not. But nonetheless, you can also make your own skin. We have an in-depth guide on doing just that. It goes over everything you need to know on how to make a Minecraft skin. Super in-depth. We go through every single step of creating your own skin. I also have an in-depth guide up here at the top. So if you want to make your own skin, there's that option for you. It doesn't require Photoshop, downloads, or anything. The only thing you'll download is the skin that you create. But you can also find skins on the skin decks. Link in the description there as well. Now, once your skins are downloaded, open up the Minecraft launcher. And what's really, really cool here is that you can just go to skins, and then you can manage your skins right here, right? You can manage every single skin you've ever installed. For example, this is from an old tutorial. The Dark Knight skin is from another tutorial I did on getting skins. This is my normal skin. This is the default Minecraft skins, and these are pretty great. If you wanted to just install and use a default Minecraft skin, you can just click on Use on it. Hover over it, click on Use, and you can switch between them right like so. But what's cool is you can also switch between the existing skins. But if you want to add a new skin to this area, go ahead and click on the New Skin button. We're going to go ahead and add the skeleton. Like I said, I'm kind of curious how that's going to work. It's going to be for the slim player model. And then we can browse to find the skin. Now, your skin's going to be in your downloads folder. Mine's already selected there, but if yours isn't, you can come over here to the left-hand side, scroll down to this PC, and then select downloads. And here we go. There's the skeleton skin. That's kind of what I figured would happen. But we'll see how this looks in-game. I don't expect it to look great. And thus, though, we can go ahead and save or save and use. Doesn't matter. And then we can add another skin. This one's going to be our... What was it? Well, I forget what the name of that skin was. What did they call it? The Warden Glade. So we'll just do Warden here. And then we'll go ahead and do the wide player model for that. And then we want to go ahead and select our cape as well. I'll do the vanilla cape. So you can click save. Now I'm going to go ahead and hover over the skeleton. Use that. Let's jump in game real quick and just see how bad this looks. I really don't think this one's going to look good, but sometimes you got to try a skin just to see how it turns out. Here we are in game. If we go ahead and transition over to full screen, we can hit F5 on our keyboard and swing around. Now, the player head looks pretty good. The rest of the skin does not look good at all, but uh, I guess if you were standing on like, you know, black wool or something, it could work, uh, but just normal backgrounds, not, not, not working there, not working at all. But uh, hey, that's kind of the risks of using a skin. I say risk, but sometimes just the skin doesn't look good. And that's what uh, we've kind of happened here. However, if we go ahead and close out of Minecraft, we can switch back over into, I'm probably going to get a warning that Minecraft isn't going to be able to open. There we go. All right. But nevertheless, we can go ahead and switch to that Warden Knight skin that we uh, downloaded because I thought that looked really good. And that will, I think, look a lot better in game. It's actually really cool that you can, um, you know, see the preview of the skin right here as well. By the way, hover over that, click use, see the preview, right? This one looks a lot better. So let's go ahead and play with this skin and we'll see that for ourselves. So again, here we are in game. And again, if we go ahead and hit F5, this one looks so much better. Look at that. Love it. So that's an example of a skin that uh, looks a lot better. And you can actually take this and make your own skin based upon this one. Let's say you wanted to change the red to a green or something like that, you could do that. But nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. We'll see you in the next one. And uh, be sure to check out one of the videos on your screen. YouTube thinks you'll like them. Peace.